The Wings Over South Texas Air Show is this week, and please welcome Captain Phil Brock. He's the base commander of NAS Corpus Christi. Join us. It's great to have you here. I, I, I know you're paying close attention to the weather report because that plays a big factor. Thousands of people uh, new this year, vendors, uh, food trucks. Right. right. What makes this great, though, is the Blue Angels, and Always. they get to fly over the water. Explain how this works, how it all comes together. So it's a great opportunity. The Blue Angels are always impressive. Uh, like you said, we've got 25 food trucks. We've got a bunch of civilian acts. We do it out on the north side of the base, right on the seawall. Mm -hmm. So you get right up on the water's edge, and the show is actually out over the water uh, from east to west, west That's to east. That's something that not too many people realize. Like the other places that air shows go on, it's not necessarily over water. Right. So most places, they do it right on the airstrip itself, right on the runways. Um, but this year we get a little, we get people up close and personal and we get a lot more people up close and personal. Uh, I know y'all plan for thousands. I, I mean, it's quite a spectacle putting all of that on. What, what is one of your favorite things about the show itself? I think the blues, uh, they're always a great, uh, top performer, but we've got a lot of civilian acts. They do amazing stunts with their planes. Uh, we've got some old warbirds, both mm -hmm. static displays and part of the air show itself. Uh, there's been a lot of great work going into this. We look to get everyone safely and securely onto the base, show them a great show, and then uh, get them home. We'll have some of those safety protocols, the things you need to know on our website at ktriplitv.com. Um, I understand there'll be uh, some pilots that have been in other wars that will be here to visit with some of the people. Is That's that right? true. We have a retired colonel from the Marine Corps. He's, uh, he, was, he served both World War II and in Korea, so he'll be in town with us uh, this weekend. And then uh, we've got a number of uh, old timers just from just from the local area even coming in to enjoy the show. It'll be fantastic. You touched on some of the classic planes, the uh, the old war planes that were out mixed in with the new. Do y'all give any hints as to what the future may hold or is it you just based off of what you see and you can imagine where things might be going? Well, it's really just uh, what we have available, um, what we can get from the local community, because some of those old warbirds are hard to come by. Yeah. But uh, we do have uh, the A-10 demonstration team, so uh, that's a somewhat of an old bird, still mm -hmm. doing a lot of great work. We have the F-18. Uh, we're trying to get uh, we're trying to get some surprises. Uh, there will be a P-3 that the customs, the border patrol folks use. Uh -huh. So there'll be a lot of great things to see, both like I said in the air and on the, on the static line. People will not be bored. Okay, Wings Over South Texas Air Show. It is this weekend, Saturday and Sunday. All the information on our website at ktriplitv.com. Uh, Captain Brock, thank you for all your service to our country. Oh, my to pleasure. here in the Coastal Bend. We love having you guys here. Thank you so much. My pleasure. Thank